Hydrogen is a fuel that burns cleanly. Uh, it could be the future of a big part of our transportation sector, perhaps even the whole economy. Uh, but right now it's produced in a way that's both expensive and polluting. Our guest has a patent on a technology that promises to do the job of producing hydrogen cheaply from oil and gas fields while leaving CO2 and methane in the ground. We're joined from Calgary by Grant Strem. He's CEO of Proton Technologies. Grant, great to have you on the show. So as I understand it, the idea here is that you would pump oxygen into the ground and that would get the hydrogen out um, in a very clean way. Is, is that how it works? More or less, the actual process is you, you can heat it up by any means. The easiest is to put oxygen down there. Once the temperatures get high enough, actually the water starts to come apart and you actually get most of the hydrogen from the water that's down there. So what's the role of the oil and gas deposit in all this? Well, it's the fuel. So right now, hydrogen's mostly made through steam methane reforming, where they burn methane as their fuel to drive a process making hydrogen. We're doing something very similar, but in the ground, only our fuel is essentially free. It's unswept oil in a late life oil field. So it's a very low cost structure compared to the current way of doing it. Oh, this would be a, a kind of a played out oil field, uh, potentially. But that presumably as that stuff burns down there to create your hydrogen, that will create some carbon. Definitely it will. Uh, the trick is to put a filter down a well so that the only thing that can come through and up to surface is pure hydrogen. All the CO2 can end up uh, in the reservoir. Uh, you know, part of, part of it goes into the oil, part goes into the water. And at those temperatures and pressures, it's super critical. So the volume of CO2 is actually not that big. I feel that all the key technology pieces have been demonstrated over the last 15 or 20 years to make that transition. Fuel cells are way cheaper and more efficient than they used to be. Uh, storage is a basically solved problem. Uh, the cheap uh, hydrogen is the only missing ingredient. Hmm. So I think that once people realize they can get hydrogen a lot cheaper than diesel and gasoline, they'll just naturally want to make the switch. It's like going from whale oil to crude oil. It wasn't because everyone loved whales, it was because people found crude oil less expensive. And you're saying that when it comes to fueling a vehicle, for example, you could be making hydrogen at a fraction of the cost of gasoline. That's correct. That's what we believe will prove out through uh, the coming months and years. What, I mean, would this work with a regular oil field that was still rich in oil? Yes, it can start with a, an early life oil field. I think that there's some reasons that it's advantaged for the other uh, late life oil fields. Uh, one of them being abandonment liability. So people are looking at uh, uh, their unswept oil that they can't uh, get to flow to the well bores economically anymore. But there's still an enormous amount of oil and energy trapped in the ground. So moving in and taking over at that stage is, is more economic uh, for, the, for society. Well, of course, we've heard concerns that Alberta has enormous numbers of old oil wells. And uh, could this actually be used to clean up those wells? Absolutely. In many cases, yes. Uh, I think there's some wells that just need to be abandoned because there's casing problems or uh, other challenges. If it's thermally completed wells, uh, it should be very easy to move in and use it. If it's non-thermally completed, there has to be a little bit of work done on the well in order to convert it to our process. Why hasn't this been done before? You know, I, I've wondered that. Uh, it seems like the technology pieces have been proven out for 80 to 100 years, mm -hmm. and it's just a combination of old technologies. So. I'm actually surprised that this hasn't been done for a long time already. Uh, fortunately for uh, Proton, we uh, noticed that it didn't show up in prior art and we were happy to have the chance to do a process patent on the whole thing. I, I would characterize Proton's process as very straightforward and something that's happened more than 500 times around the world for uh, you know, more than a century. So, and that's the, uh, the combustion portion in the ground, always with the goal to increase the oil rate. Mm -hmm. uh, every one of them made hydrogen accidentally and either vented it or incinerated it as part of the gas stream. Uh, our interest is focused on the hydrogen piece. And just finally, give us an idea of how much you've raised so far at Proton and uh, what have your sources been, broadly speaking? 
Um, well, so far, actually, most of our business has been built on loans from fr family and friends. Mm. So we're, we're uh, building forward. We have cash flow from our, our demo facility, and uh, we're, we're taking measured steps as we move forward.